The U.S. attorney calls this a violent and despicable act, saying that torching police cars has nothing to do with peaceful protests, while the accused arsonist's attorney tells me this was all a political move. Court documents reveal how federal investigators started with news footage of two Philadelphia police cars going up in flames back on May 30th, and later ending up with these amateur photographs of a masked woman in a blue shirt. The U.S. attorney says her name is Laura Elizabeth Blumenthal, and she now faces felony arson charges. And there's all these FBI cars just lined up in unmarked cars, and ATF agent, and Department of Homeland Security. Neighbors say this is Blumenthal's Germantown Row home with the front door boarded up. They saw authorities move in early Monday to arrest the 33 year old. They heard the FBI announce themselves three times, open up, and then they heard her say, you know, like, I have rights, and then shattering of glass. The FBI located the photos on Instagram, then found two key details the phrase printed on the shirt and the peace sign tattoo on the arm. A search revealed the shirt is only available on Etsy, and a recent commenter on that very product was traced back to this LinkedIn page belonging to Laura Elizabeth. The page links to her massage therapy studio's website, displaying a video with her peace sign tattoo. Well, my concern is that the federal government's made a political decision in selecting this case. Paul Hetznecker is representing Blumenthal. He says this case should be tried in state court, like the other 650 cases related to the unrest. He also says the public should be concerned about the approach used in this investigation. The effort by uh, the federal government to use uh, social media sites to use surveillance techniques uh, to investigate uh, those who are involved in, in uh, political protest activities. Prosecutors want to keep Blumenthal in custody until her trial. We'll see if a judge agrees on Friday. If convicted, she could face serious jail time. At the federal courthouse in Old City, I'm Drew Smith, NBC 10 News.